Hey, Bobby, have you ever heard of Throbbing Gristle? They were an industrial band from the 70s. Industrial, like Nine Inch Nails and stuff? No, not at all, actually. Well, did they have any hits? Not really. I mean, unless by hit you mean in the face, mm. by a concrete dildo. What? With a giant nail sticking out of it. Mm, okay, okay, I think I get it. Mm, I don't think you do. <laughs> Please, oh, please, bug. please, please. Sorry about that, Bobby. Jesus, my bowels. <laughs> Isn't there something fucking great about that, though? I don't even know. I'm just trying to quell my gag reflex over here. Well, see, now Throbbing Gristle would be totally fine with that reaction. <laughs> so what, they're just fucking with people then? No, not necessarily. I mean, they have some stuff that's more tolerable to everyday birds. Okay, okay, that's more like it. Yeah. What album is this from? This is from their third album, 20 Jazz Funk Greats. Mm, okay, I can dig it. It's not really jazz, though. Or funk. Or jazz funk. And there's only 11 songs on it. On 20 Jazz Funk Greats? Mm-hmm. There are only 11 songs. Correct. None of which are jazz. Or funk. Or jazz funk. Mm. And that's their third album, you say? Yeah, the first is called The Second Annual Report. Their first album. Exactly. Hmm. But they did have a demo cassette before that. Ah, uh, okay. And that was called... The Best of Throbbing Gristle, Volume 2. The best of mm -hmm. was their first demo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. volume two. Yep. And then came their first album. Mm -hmm. That's right. The second annual report. And the second album? The third and final report. The third report, you say, mm -hmm. was their second album. Third, which is the second, right? Third and final report. Mm -hmm. Third and final report was the second, right? Which was then followed by the third album, 20 Jazz Funk Greats, which only has 11 songs on it. That's right. None of which are jazz or funk. Or jazz funk. Mm. So day is night, black is white with these fucking people. <laughs> Not always, no. I mean, Hamburger Lady is pretty linear. It's a song about a hamburger lady. What's a hamburger lady? Wait. Do I even want to fucking ask? Mm, probably not. Mm. I mean, the quelling and such. Right, right, right. The quelling. Right? Yeah. Well, you know what? Shoot me a lyric real quick. All right, well, let's see. Hamburger lady, hamburger lady. She's okay if you change the tubes. Mm. Tubes in her legs, tubes in her arms. Uh, you okay? Uh, wait. Okay. Okay. Then the medic came, and when he came out and uh, saw one of the burn okay. nurses Wait. at the desk... Uh, these are lyrics? Whatever happened? I'm too sexy for my shirt. He was eating a can of Chili Mac. Uh, chili Mac? That doesn't sound good at all. And he flashed on the carpet, mm. flashed on the floor. What does flashed mean? I think it means to, like, projectile vomit. <laughs> like, spontaneously puke. My, you know what? Why don't we move on? Roger that. I'm still trying to... Quell and such? Quell, yes. Quell. <laughs> it is all pretty interesting, though. <laughs> right? And a lot of people were into this, huh? Totally. Totally. Still are. Hmm. I was kind of obsessed with finding all their random albums and like previously unreleased shit at one point. Hmm. So like how many albums did you end up buying? Uh, like 19 or something? 19? Mm-hmm. Okay, and how many, like, Rolling Stones albums do you have? Rolling Stones? I don't know, like, maybe three? Yeah, you should probably talk to somebody, no? <laughs> I wasn't alone, Bob. I mean, they're super popular in certain circles. In fact, their first album? Mm, the second report? <laughs> That's right. I heard they only pressed 500 copies of that originally, mm. and the demand for it was so great that they eventually had to re-release it. Really? Yep, but the re-release is backwards. Say what now? The music is played backwards on it. Backwards? Hmm. Go ahead, ask me if it sounds completely different. Does it sound completely different? Mm, I don't think that it does. Here's the original. And then here's backwards. Well, yeah. Still, I could kind of listen to either. Or neither. Yeah, or neither. I mean, after all, one man's poison is another's dessert, right? Right, 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 right. What does that mean? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so then what was their biggest... Hit? Yeah. In the face? Right, right. With the concrete dildo with the nail sticking out of it? I guess. Well, they released a non-album track, which was kind of more normal sounding to the masses, and that was kind of an underground hit. All right, all right, this is nice. Right? But you say they didn't put this on an album. Uh, eventually they did, on the third and final report. Their second album. That's right. But that version was sped up, so it's only 16 seconds long. 16 seconds. Yeah. How very throbbing gristle of them. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit, Bobby. All right, so then what'd they all do after this? Well, they all went on to do a bunch of other projects. Way too many to mention. So check them out at your local library. What's a library? Oh, oh no. Oh, my bowels. Oh, oh please, please, no. Oh, my innards. Uh, can't you feel that right in your fucking cunt? <laughs> It got in my mouth, Bob. Sorry about that, Buck.
So what are we going to do now? Hmm? What do you mean? Regarding this friendship, what are we going to do? Hmm? I don't understand. What... It got in my mouth. Check out your local library. Who knows? We might just run into each other.